The secret sauce to IKEA's innovation philosophy is to allow all staff to be innovators. The brand have stationed their head office on the site of the first ever IKEA store in Almholt, Sweden. Six hours away from the capital and the distractions of city life, the HQ is a living, breathing innovation lab where staff are encouraged to share ideas, opinions, and use these spaces as much as possible. We are never really satisfied in IKEA. We always want to make things better. And we have a magic formula in the center of that called democratic design. That means that we look at form, function, sustainability, quality, and the low price. We also look at movements in the world, what is happening around us, how the world is changing. The expectations on furniture and our solutions are also changing. Innovation doesn't happen in one place in IKEA. It happens all over the place. Innovation stretches all the way from the raw material through production, through the product that's being sold and used in customers' home, and then also recycled or reused. We love to collaborate. Everyone can contribute in making our products a little bit better, our solutions a little bit better. When we develop products in IKEA, we always want to have something to look at. It's not until you actually see it in the real scale, in a real context, that you can also weigh in the home furnishing aspects. We have started IKEA HomeSmart, for example, an area where we combine technical solutions and digital solutions with home furnishing. And a good example of that is how we launched Starkwind, which is an air purifier combined with a coffee table, meaning a technical product that really blends into home furnishing by being a fantastic coffee table and cleaning the air at home. Right now, we're in the middle of a reality check regarding small space living. More people living in dense areas, more people sharing spaces, more people living in smaller spaces, more activities happening in the same spaces, where we really test our furniture and our solutions in a small space. How do they work there? How do they fit together? How can you make it really a great space, though being limited square meters? The product engineering department apply IKEA's innovation philosophy through a problem-solving model. Matthias Persson, IKEA's range and product engineering manager, shares how his team reimagined their biggest and most problematic piece of furniture for people living in small spaces, the wardrobe. We know by facts and customer insights that it's very difficult to assemble a packs wardrobe when you live in a small space. So we wanted to solve that problem for the customer with a new generation of packs where it's actually possible to assemble the frame vertically. We have pre-glued together the side panel and the back panel, which makes it like a book. You unfold it vertically. I have uh, two fantastic colleagues from my team, Josephine and Simon, that will take us through the assembly. Without uh, fittings in the back, uh, without nails, we believe that we can actually then reduce the assembly time from 70 minutes on an average today down to five minutes. It's very difficult to develop a product like this. It takes a long time. It's a lot of design iterations. Finding the right materials, the right components. We are constantly pushing the boundaries within IKEA. Uh, we are a very big company that can really influence the way people live. I think also within IKEA, I think everyone has the possibility to actually influence and innovate. It could be on the factory floor, it could be on the sales floor at our stores. I think everyone being able to actually influence and, and impact how we can do things better, I think that's very connected to our culture. <laughs>